welcome back um so today i just wanted to hop on real quick and talk about what i've been doing this last week um so this weekend is my friend's bridal shower and she asked me to be in charge of the games and that includes the prizes as well so um of course i have to make things complicated for myself and instead of just going out and buying stuff <laughs> i have to make half of it too so um what i decided was since she's doing a her wedding is in jamaica on the beach so i thought it would be fun to make little gift baskets of like things you'd need on the beach so like sunscreen and um, chapstick and water bottles and sunglasses things like that um and then i thought well why don't not take it one step further and instead of putting it in a basket make like bags that they could take to the beach like a beach tote bag or whatever um and trying to keep things cost effective i didn't want to go buy you know eight dollar bags um so i decided i was going to make some out of um like placemats and stuff from the dollar store um some i already had and some i had to purchase myself um and so i will show you you can kind of stand behind me but i'll show you what i did um for each one and what i put in them and um yeah, so I made the bags, and then I also made water bottle holders and chapstick holders, and then everything else was purchased um, either at, like, the dollar store or for clearance at Walmart. So, um, all the bags have, um, oh, sorry, <laughs> let's see here, they all have some aloe vera soothing gel. From the dollar store and sunscreen from the dollar store and um they have this lotion from walmart and these were clearance for a dollar so i hadn't planned on putting lotion in there it just happened to be at walmart for a dollar and it's called sun-kissed ocean waves um sea salt and water blossom scented so i thought that would fit Kind of ocean beach theme and then um so i got those last week and then yesterday i was at walmart again and they had these there last week but i didn't think they were needed it's hand sanitizer and the same scent um but they were now clearance at five cents each so i was like well why not so they each have one of those in there um so here i'll show you this first bag I'm trying to decide i might flip you over and put these on the floor to show you. Let's see. Um, Alright, so this first one is made out of two placemats. Uh, they were originally from um, Walmart. I just had them on hand. And um, you can see it's kind of boxed bottom or whatever you want to call that there. I'll post the link to the tutorial I used on how to make a bag out of two placemats. Um, I did buy some grommets from Joann's and this rope is from the dollar store. Um, the grommets, I read the description wrong because I ordered it online to pick up in store and I read that it had eight sets of grommets and to me I was like oh so that's 16 grommets? I don't know why. <laughs> it was just the stuff to make eight grommets so I only got two bags with the grommets um and i didn't feel like going back to buy more because each one two on each side of the bag so each bag needed four grommets sorry for the uh legos and stuff in the background all right um so to go so the other stuff that goes in each bag is um sunglasses a water bottle holder and a chapstick holder and i kind of tried to um i I just bought random sunglasses, so um, the ones I had, I kind of tried to match colors of, of the placemats and fabric I was using, so some match better than others. Um, but like the water bottle holder, so for this bag, oops, I used this orange to go with the orange stripe, and this is a Lion Brand cotton, what is it called, ice cream cotton blend. 
and I will post the link to the um, pattern I used for the water bottle holders. Um, this one I did do an extra repeat because it was really short. Um, the first repeat was right here, and then you add the second repeat brought me to there. So this one's a little taller than some of the other ones. Um, these sunglasses are kind of purpley, so they don't really match. And then the chapstick holder with chapstick inside. This is the one, this bluish one, to kind of go with that blue stripe. Um, so there's that first bag. I'll have to put everything in it back in it later. Um, the second bag is... Um, these are from the dollar store. These two placemats. And the fabric I used is actually fabric from... Easter dresses I made a few years ago. Um, and then the rope, same rope from the dollar store and the grommets on this one. So this one has the stuff in it, so it's kind of yeah. lopsided. Hold on here. There we go. Um, and I use a pattern tutorial or whatever online, on like a blog post. To how to attach the fabric to make the bag. Um, they used the fabric straps, which I did on some other bags that I can show you. Um, this one I used, um, this is the water bottle holder for this one. And that's, um, and I love this cotton. I just had a little bit left over. And then I did just a pink chapstick holder and then pink sunglasses let's see if I can get these out of the way for the next one all right this next one is placemats that I had from Goodwill I just bought like a whole set of them one time I didn't have really any fabric to the, that really went with it so I got this I had this ladybug kind of gold and brown and green and kind of weird but I thought it worked out. Um, so because I didn't have any more grommets and I didn't want to go buy more and I didn't think black, the black grommets would look great on this brown one and the next one is tan. Um, I decided to just do fabric straps on this one since I had enough fabric. Um, it was a pain in the butt to turn these because I don't have a turning tool. So when you like sew them right sides together, then you have to turn them around. Um, it took forever. And then I used like a decorative stitch to kind of top stitch it together. Um, yeah. So um, the water bottle holder for this one is this yellow one. And then the sunglasses are kind of brownish. And then I did yellow for the chapstick holder. In each chapstick holder, I use a different stitch, um, but they're all like my own pattern, I guess you could say. Um, I didn't follow anybody's tutorial or anything like that. So, that's three. So she does have, we're just doing three games, but I was worried about um, if there was a tie. So... Yeah, so I made five. <laughs> Alright, this next one is just kind of a natural light tan color. And then here is the fabric that I found for that in my stash. Um, this might have come off of a pillow, like a old couch pillow cover. Because um, it's kind of canvassy like that. And then the straps. I didn't, I didn't really want to make fabric straps out of this, especially since the first one took so long to turn so I had this rope stuff I don't even know where I got it from and all I did was I made chains um, and then to sew them on I took some of the fabric from around the bottom and just did a little rectangle and then went around it and made an X and I'm hoping that that is sturdy enough <laughs> to hold it on there because this rope was kind of hard to like put a needle through if I wanted to hand sew it on. Um, I basically just hand cranked my sewing machine to get it through. Um, yeah. 
So the water bottle holder for this one. So this bag's kind of just my more natural color ones. So there's that one. This one does have little bits of pink and purple. Where did it go? Uh, sunglasses are more like a cream color. And then I didn't have natural colored thread. So I just did green for this one. It kind of doesn't really match the green on there, but it'll work. <laughs> um, so then my last one I made a little differently. All right, this one is made out of actually um, two rugs from the dollar store. They're like the um, t-shirt rag rugs that they have. And then unfortunately they weren't the same size, so it doesn't like lay flat very well. It's kind of rippled. Um, I just hand sewed this around three sides. I was afraid it would get caught in the sewing machine. Um, and then I got this strap at Joanne's um, and I just sewed the rectangle and the X to keep that on. And it did snag a little bit on the inside on the sewing machine. So even though it took forever, I'm still glad I hand sewed the main part. And then, so the water bottle holder for this one, I did this blue. And then sunglasses are blue with some flowers on there. And then I did a light blue chapstick holder. So yeah, I think that is it. Um, goodness, pictures instead of flipping my camera around. Okay, so yeah, that is everything for that. Um, so that's this weekend. Today's Tuesday. We're going to drive out there on Friday. Uh, yeah, so in the meantime, I've been working like on towels for spring like my florally what type ones so i'm really hoping to get those done before i mean i'm not gonna have much time to crochet this weekend with two six hour car rides within two days of each other but um yes but yeah by by next week i want to have those done um, I have some done done and the rest are just like they need the last section. I kind of like to do that all at once like the last border round and then the sewing on the button. I don't know why I just like to sit down and do like boom 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 all the towels the last little bit all at once so it seems like I don't have any done but they're all pretty much done I think. Um, except for the one that I was going to use for the tutorial is still waiting for me to do because I've had my table, my craft table full of sewing stuff. So hopefully when I get back next, after the weekend, I can get started on that and get that one ready to post with the other ones. If not, well, I could always pick a, a summer towel to do for the tutorial also, but I do want to get it done because I keep saying I'm going to do it. And I haven't done it. <laughs> um, and while I was making all these chapstick holders, I was like, oh, I should do a tutorial on those too. Well, we'll see if I ever get around to that either. So it's just hard trying to find time when the kids are in bed to have time for myself to do stuff sometimes. So I um, don't know where I was going with that. I think that is everything that I wanted to talk about tonight. Um, I did go to Joanne's. Obviously, I had to get some stuff for this. Um, I also got some a little bit of yarn, not a whole lot. Um, I actually ended up doing like three different purchases in the space of like two days. One was like a buy online, pick up in store because they had like the 25% off if you picked it up in store. And then I get to the store and they had canceled like two of the things that I had ordered. And so I was looking around just to see what they had while I was in the store and I their Red Heart Super Saver was on sale for two for seven, which isn't like a super good sale, but anyway, I got two of their like Tweety type ones to make hats with for the fall, probably. And then I checked out and then I walked out the door and I turned right back around because I remembered I was supposed to pick up my order. Um, yeah, 
and that was stuff for my daughter's birthday cake and for um, Mother's Day gifts, teacher gifts that my kids were making. And then, um, so that was two orders in one day. And then I also did an online order um, because they had free shipping and I needed um, some sprinkles for an activity for my daughter's birthday party. And they had Big Twist. Ooh. Their cotton on sale for two for three, so dollar fifty each basically. Um, and they don't. My Joann's doesn't carry their cotton yarn in the store for some reason. So I just got this color that I've had before. Where did it go? It's called Coral Splash. Um, the same person who made the um, I'm looking at it. The water bottle holder. Um, the the blog is called Five Little Monsters. She, I'm pretty sure it's the same person, just came out with a new like market bag that I thought would be cute to make. So I bought two of these for that purpose. Um, and then I just got one black. They only had one black. I, they wouldn't let me get two. Because um, I feel like I don't have a lot of black cotton. And so just to have on hand for when I need it. And I like the Big Twist and the Premier Home Cotton better, I think, than... Like the sugar and cream and peaches and cream, I feel like it's a little softer and more flexible and easier to use. Um, I do feel like it's a little thinner too, so that can affect things sometimes, but yeah. So when it's on sale, especially if it's free shipping, um, I'll usually get one or two, depending on what I feel like I need it for. So. Yeah, that is everything for tonight, and um, thanks for watching, and sorry for all my, I'll probably edit out a bunch of <laughs> me moving stuff around, but um, yeah, so thanks for being here, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. I just wanted to show you real quick um, the sunflower that I made for my friend's bridal shower gift. Um, this wood hanging was from Hobby Lobby. It was like 40% off of 13, so whatever that was. And I didn't have a 100% idea what I was going to do with it when I got it. Um, so I was working on it last night after I recorded the first half of this video. Um, so it's now Wednesday. Anyway, um, so... I first um, stained, so with some wood stain, this middle section, and then um, the yellow, I just kind of squirted on yellow craft paint and then took a wet sponge brush and um, smeared it all around. I wanted you to still be able to see the wood grain through it, um, and if there were some spots that didn't get all the way painted, that was okay. I was kind of like making it, um, trying to make it rustic-ish. And then I thought about um, cutting out some vinyl or something that said like hello sunshine to put in the middle or something like that. I wasn't really sure. Um, but I'll post a picture. I managed to um, get stain on the yellow part. So around the outside of the circle. And I didn't know how to fix it without like completely painting it like full on paint over top. Which I didn't want to do. So, um, apparently, when in doubt, add yarn. So that's what I did. Um, so this middle section is just, I mean, it's all just chains. Um, this is a Lion Brand 24-7 cotton in brown that I have. And um, I just chained a bunch, tried to eyeball the middle, which I did not get the middle. And just hot glued it in a spiral. And I would make a little bit at a time. I would do like 50 chains at a time. And glue it on, do like 54, so that just so I wouldn't have like a huge, um, long chain all at once. And then before I got all the way to their edges, I did, um, these so that it would kind of go over the little outlines. Um, and this is just like a sugar and cream cotton in like a gold color, or peaches and cream, I'm not sure. Um, so I did these little ones first. And then, so, all the way around. And then, these ones. So, 
to cover like the the wood had like indents in these spots so I just followed the indents and covered those with the cotton and oh I also did um, a little bit of a different shade of yellow you can kind of see these little splotches I just kind of took my finger and dipped it in the paint and just just kind of wiped it I did that before um, I started adding yarn and stuff today so yeah I, I did the painting and the stain last night and then came up with the idea of the yarn and I needed to go to bed because it was super late um, and so yeah today while the kids were playing down here I worked on it off and on and just got it finished after they went to bed I just had a little bit left to do um, yeah so I definitely didn't center this very well and so where it was getting to the edge on one side but not quite to the edge on the other side I was like um, gluing the lines closer together and then I was trying to kind of space it out a little bit you can kind of see I accidentally left a too big of a space right there um, yeah and then this this um, was just already on there so I just left it it's stapled in the back and yeah so hopefully she likes it I mean sunflowers are her favorite thing her favorite flower and I feel like that's kind of what I've been leaning towards for gifts for her lately so hopefully she doesn't get sick of it but um I'm still finding hot glue strings to pull off and stuff but yeah so it's not perfect it's not exactly what I had envisioned but I think it's still cute and I hope she likes it and I will talk to you guys next time bye guys